You may have noticed these little wagon wheel buttons scattered around different windows or different areas inside of windows in Cubase. These are setup buttons and they open a pop-up or pop-down menu which allow us to configure different areas inside of our windows. For example, if I open the setup menu up here in the top right hand side, I can add a transport to the top area. I can go back and I can add the time display so I can always see where I am inside of the project. This gives us another option if, for example, we don't want to see the transport section down in the bottom of the project window. We can go and open the setup menu just by clicking setup. The setup window gives us a concise overview of what's going on and we can add anything that we want to see just by clicking on the add button. We can also save different presets so we can have different configurations for different purposes. Once you're finished you can simply reset or recall a preset. So we can always go back to the default setting if we want. One really nice feature here is the ability to move different items around and as we move them that position in the area we're setting up will change. So we can move them further towards the left hand side or to the right hand side. As is the case with nearly everything inside of Cubase we can get in and configure different areas to suit different recording or production purposes. We can save it as a preset if we need to and recall that preset at any point in time or when we finish, we can exit. If you feel like it's just a little bit messy, you can go back in and reset all, and it will reset it to the factory defaults. We can do the same down in the bottom section. For example, we might want to see something like the system performance meter down the bottom. We can also see it up the top, but it's up to you to choose where you want to actually see specific items. Once again, in the lower zone, we can also move different items around to the left or to the right, and we can completely reorganize how we see that lower area inside of the project window. You can reset everything inside the system menu as well. I find one of the most useful setup buttons is this one over in the inspector tab because there's so many things that we can see in such a small confined space and we don't always need to see them. For example, the quick controls. I find the setup window really useful here because I can completely rearrange the tabs on the left hand side. So for example, I might prefer to have my fader down the bottom. So I always know where it is and I don't go looking for it in amongst all of the tabs. There's also a setup window down in the lower zone. So if you're not using chord pads, you can simply remove them from the equation. Or if you're not using the sampler control, then you've only got two buttons to work with. You may not be aware that there's actually a setup button which allows us to define what we see in the track list on individual tracks. And it's really neat because you've got all of these tabs along the top of the setup window. For example, at the moment, I'm working with the chord tab and I can add or remove items. So if I really want to declutter this area, I can take items out that I'm never going to need to use inside of the chord track. You can see this example down here of how the actual track is going to work. You can see the changes inside the window by hitting apply. You can also change the size of individual tracks inside the track list. The reset all function is inside every setup window. Now I'm moving across to the audio tab and I've got an audio track here. But if I want to go with a very simple layout, I can select the simple preset and apply. And you can see that there's less visible buttons there. I can move along through the different presets to find a setting that works for the type of application I need depending on what phase I'm in in the recording process. And of course, as always, you can customize your very own views and save them as a preset. Click on this little triangle to see any presets you may have saved and the factory defaults. And that's a really quick way of being able to navigate through different views inside the track list. There's also a setup wheel in the top right hand corner of the mix console. And if we click on it, it once again gives us the option to customize exactly what items we wish to see at the top of the mix console. So you can choose what's important for you during the mix down process. 
go into the setup window again to make further changes, and of course drag different items around or remove them completely from view. If you're using an older version of Cubase, you're going to find this setup feature inside of the different windows in Cubase a lifesaver. Choose the items that you want to see inside different windows or different areas in Cubase instantly.